The news of Jack leaving shocked the talent at the WWE Performance Center. Yeah, I remember that one. That was huge. Couldn't believe it. I had no idea that Jack left because of Vic. <laughs> I hate him even more now. People love playing the blame game. But to be honest, I had nothing to do with Jack leaving. No, I blame Vink 100%. If Vink wasn't here, Jag would still be here. Listen, I hate everyone equally. I didn't treat Jag any differently than I did, say, Vito. Ugh. Him and Vito. I want you to go back to your stupid little rugby game and leave the wrestling to the professional athletes. Is that all right with you? He disrespected my sport, spray painted my car. Next time I see Vink, I'm gonna knock him out. Vito won't do anything, he's soft. He played rugby for crying out loud. That's, it's barely even a real sport. So The Rock's at the PC, right? This is The Rock. He's talking to everybody. And then Daniel Vito has to go talk to the man, this idiot. So Vink, being Vink, he's not gonna let it slide. Goes to see Vito, talking to The Rock. He says, Vito, how's that hand rash working out for you? You should have seen The Rock's face. They just shook hands. A much needed father figure to the group, Jack's departure puts total flogs on life support. Vink ruined an amazing thing by being careless, and it didn't bother him as long as he was happy. I knew Vink would never listen to me, but I thought that he would at least care what Bronson had to say. I hoped that I could give him a reality check, and that he needed to get his act together because he was not only hurting his career, but he was hurting the tight bond that we had formed with the whole group. And considering our history, I thought he would listen to me, so I told him exactly what I thought. That's when I knew that the show should be all about me. 